Nancy Pelosi, Anita Lowy, Bill Bradley, Cabal Patrick, Leon Panetta, Diane Feinstein, Patrick Leahy, Gene Sperling, Douglas Hulse Aiken, Henry Paulson, Hank Paulson, Henry Paulson, Charles Schumer, Chris Dodd. You don't think it's relevant I, I that, think that it's this man relevant. was a member of this church for two decades? No, we've made it relevant. And, and this fellow? We've made, we made it relevant here for the last four or five days in this, in this network. He's rejected it. He said he, no, he doesn't have any association with it. He, he finds these comments outrageous. I don't know how much more clear he could be on the subject. And supporters are all over the place. And you will find in every campaign, you have Senator McCain endorsed by a reverend who said very anti-Catholic things. You've had the problems our campaign had with certain statements that Geraldine Ferraro made. I think in the long run, uh, he won't have an impact. I'll say that when you hear these excerpts, I don't know where they came in speeches that he made. When you hear these ex excerpts, it's easy to be angry. Senator Clinton can't be responsible for everything one of her enthusiastic supporters say, and I'm sure it'd be the same for Senator Barack Obama. You know, the kind of information that we're releasing, it reminds me, uh, with all due respect, Senator Bradley, of, with the uh, Bradley-Gore primary. I'd caution everybody to remember who is and who is not the candidate. You know, uh, uh, the good reverend uh, is not the candidate. He's fortunately not running for, uh, for president, and neither is, uh, uh, neither is Geraldine Ferraro. It, 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 it's, it's, it works to a certain degree uh, to buttress Mrs. Clinton's support among white voters, to put the focus on the fact that Senator Obama is not doing very well among white voters. I think the tone could be improved. I definitely do. It's just impossible that they're going to come together on a single ticket. How can you be so sure? I'm just absolutely sure. I just know it. I just know it. If this is a divided convention, and if it's one in which you've got constituencies in the Democratic Party going in different directions, it may be that uh, some kind of combined ticket of these two candidates may be necessary in order to bring the party together. So this, this could be good, but what I said was, if the votes of the superdelegates overturn the, what happened in the elections, it would be harmful to the Democratic Party. If you go against a uh, district that is overwhelmingly Obama, you might ask for a primary the next time. It's politics. And I think right now, frankly, it's a tie. Senator Clinton, and I don't believe Senator Obama, are calling for having any taxes go up right now while we are in recession or in the threat of recession. I find it really uh, amazing that Gene would argue we can't raise taxes because it's going to hurt the economy. We might be in a recession, but let's go hurt the economy later. What's the difference? Well, I think who you have to watch here is John McCain because he's in the position to begin running his general election campaign against the both of them in front of these Democratic primary voters who are going to look and say, well, Let's see how McCain is running against uh, Obama. No one's debating the fact that this economy has slowed way down. We feel it. We know it. The American people know it. We're all over this. And uh, the president is very focused on what's going on in the economy. Uh, we got out ahead of it early. I don't like to use the word because Why I... Not? Well, I think that what we need now is confidence. But we have to face the reality of what is there. I was pleased that when we were finally able to pass a bipartisan stimulus package. Let me tell you, this has become the Bush recession. Had the president done some of the things that people uh, like myself, Chris, were asking back in May, the recession would be much less deep. The huge top-level tax cuts, when people are getting 50 and 60 and 70 million dollars a year for a, uh, to run a company into bankruptcy, no, they don't deserve a huge tax cut. So, uh, not in this situation. They should not be renewed. We should begin to put the budget back in balance. We should begin to re reduce the debt. There is no silver bullet to keep home prices from going down or to prevent all foreclosures. But we've got programs in place that are working, that are making a difference, and are going to continue to make a difference. I'm not going to speculate. Wolf, I'm not going to speculate. I'm, I'm not going to speculate. George, I'm not going to, uh, to, to uh, speculate about what the outcome of this, uh, this situation is going to be. Talk too much!